Okay, I guess the earliest days was at Fort, in Fort Hill, there's an area of Louisville. Uh, it's probably from Burnett to maybe Hill Street. It stops at Shelby and begins at Preston. Uh, that's what my early years were spent in Fort Hill. Uh, and you were born? There. In Louisville, I guess at Louisville General Hospital. I never asked my mom, but I assume I was born at Louisville General Hospital <coughs> back in those days. Uh, and that's where my early years, it was a great neighborhood, great community. The principal of the school, Miss Mabel Coleman, lived right down the street from me. Uh, Lincoln Elementary School, which no longer exists, was at the end of, um, what's that, Hill Street. It was on Bland. Uh, and the one thing I do remember is that everybody knew everybody. And the one thing you never wanted was for the teacher to call your parent because Nowadays, kids explain things. If the teacher called home, there was no explanation. <laughs> that was it mm -hmm. in the subject. Uh, so uh, we, we had a, it was a great community, a caring community. Uh, Segregated? Yes, you have what? yes, okay. yes. As a matter of fact, there used to be a place we called Gurney Court. It's still there. And uh, I'd have to walk through Gurney Court to get to Preston to take the bus if I was going any place. And uh, sometimes it would be a little challenging walking through Gurney Court, because Gurney Court was all white. And you would have uh, young kids who would feel the oats if they saw me walking through Gurney Court. And that's where I learned to sort of play a bully, as small as I was, uh, going through Gurney Court, because they would holler at you, say things to you. And uh, it could be a little challenging and frightening. Uh, there was another place behind the house we called the Commons. You could walk through there and get to Preston Street to the bus stop. But most of the time, you walk through Gar Gurney Court. And uh, my, uh, my mom didn't have a car. So every place we went, we went on a bus. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I would go someplace, I would take the bus to go there. So uh, that, those were the early days. And then from there, I moved to Shepherd Square. Mm -hmm. uh, what, year, what year were you born, Daryl? Let's talk about brothers and sisters and your mom. It's 18, uh, 19, <laughs> 1937 I was born. Uh, I had a sister, uh, she lives in Cleveland, and my mom, uh, who was at that time a domestic, uh, she lived most of her working life. She made, i never forget it, $5 a day in car fare. Uh, and a great day for me was sometimes when she, I know there was one family she worked for, great day for me was when she would come home with some pants and some tops. That was a great day. Uh, I'd, I'd get some new pants to wear. You had to pin them up because I was small. Mm -hmm. And some tops, and uh, that was a great day. And so your mom, what's, what was her name? And Dorothy, she? Dorothy Minter. Uh, she subsequently married a Mr. Harry Mucker, uh, but that was after I was in law school. Uh, so at that time, we, uh, we, we would go, you know, take the bus, or we would walk. Uh, I know there used to be an A&P up on Eastern Parkway. We would walk from my house on Fort Hill to the A&P up on Eastern Parkway and back. Uh, when in Shepherd Square, we walked to the Haymarket and back.